Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. The mind has this tendency to want to travel. It's going to go here, go there. You can go around the world in the flash of an eye. But what do you gain? There are some thoughts, but then they slip through your fingers like water. If you stay right here, you can develop a skill. The skill of getting the mind under control. It requires mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness. The ability to watch what you're doing and see what results you're getting. And then there's ardency, the de desire to do this well. You keep coming back, coming back to the breath. If you slip off, you come back. You slip off, you come back again. Ten times, a hundred times. You come back ten times, a hundred times. Strengthening your resolve that you're going to stay here. As you do this, your mindfulness gets better. You're able to keep things in mind for longer periods of time. And your alertness gets sharper. You begin to detect when the mind is about to go off. And then you can do something about it. If you don't see it, you can't do anything about it. You're learning to observe your own mind. So you can use these skills not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. If you begin to see the mind is going off in a direction that's not good, you can turn it around. You can let go of it, whatever the thought was that was coming in to push you away. That's where you develop a skill that's useful all the time, because your mind is the factor that shapes your life. Your intentions determine what you're going to do. What you do determines the experience of pleasure and pain you're going to meet with now and into the future. And if you don't get some control over the mind, it's like having a child that you don't train. The child runs around, has no idea what's right and what's wrong, does what it wants. It can end up causing a lot of trouble, both for itself and for the people around it. So get the mind trained, get the mind civilized, so that in its search for happiness it doesn't cause any harm to anybody. We live in this world where people do harm so casually, both to themselves and to other people. This attitude of, I don't care, has become more and more rampant. But you can't take that attitude toward your own life. Other people may decide they don't care, but you have to care about what kind of experience of pleasure or pain you're going to meet up with, and the amount of harm you're going to be doing to other people. You have to care about that. It's a quality that the Buddha calls compunction. That compunction requires strength, and it requires skill if you're going to be able to carry through. So that's what we're developing as we stay here with the breath. We develop strength of mind, we develop skill. So we can train the mind to go in the direction where we really want it to go.